Five, please. Play. After an epic comeback from two sets down against Fernando Verdasco in the quarterfinals, Andy Murray would need to dust himself down and rise to the occasion again in a semi-final against giant pole Jerzy Janovic, a very different but equally frightening prospect. Murray lost to the 6'8", 22-year-old at last November's Paris Masters after holding match points. As two of the best servers in the game, it was clear where this match would be won or lost. Janovic survived two set points in the tenth game. The first set would need a tie-break to decide the outcome, and the pole had the mini-breaks. The set was within reach. And a Murray double fault clinched it. It was the same way he'd started his five-set thriller against Fedasco in the quarter-final. The US Open champion, though, didn't dwell on the moments. He forced two break points in the opener of set two, and this time it was a Janovic double fault that secured it. Murray survived four break points over the course of the second set, but held firm. Given the chance to serve it out, the world number two found the big shots when he needed them most. Time and again, though, Janovic, the first Polish player to ever reach a Grand Slam semi-final, was proving he had plenty more to his game than his thunderous serve. The 24th seed had the first break in set three. Janovic may have been in front, but he wasn't in control. Murray is a proven Grand Slam champion and had the character to get the break back three games later. It was a huge moment, and he was whipping the centre court crowd up to get the momentum going. For the world number 22, the match was swinging away from him, and the frustration was starting to show in his game. Another break followed, and the set was slipping away. There were nervous moments when the Scots served it out, but serve it out he did. Murray, 2-1 up. With the flow of the match undoubtedly building towards the British number one, there would then be a frustrating delay with the decision taken to close the roof due to bad light. Murray was not impressed. At that stage, the world number two had won five games in a row, but the interruption didn't stall Murray's momentum. A stunning passing shot here on the way to an early break in the fourth. The pole was under constant pressure and serving to stay in the match, he crumbled. 6-7, 6-4, 6-4, it finished and Britain's number one is into the Wimbledon final for the second successive year. Murray is now on a 17-match grass court winning streak. One more and he will end Britain's 77-year wait for a home champion.